In order to take an alginate impression, you will need a tray, a paper towel, uh, some adhesive, alginate, a spatula, and a mixing bowl uh, with pre-measured water. You take your tray and you poke the handle through the paper towel uh, in order to basically give yourself an area where you can spray adhesive without you know, ruining your workbench. You spray a light coat of adhesive all over the tray. Uh, here I went a little heavy with the spray, but fortunately the paper towel can be used to remove any excess, uh, as Dr. Stevenson describes in his class. At this point, you want to take the water that's pre-measured. Here I'm using two packets of alginate because it's the maxilla. Um, and you take both the measures of water and you place in your mixing bowl. Then you grab your two packets of alginate uh, and you carefully uh, empty out the powder into the mixing bowl. You always place water before you place the powder. The reason I'm using two here is because I'm trying to capture uh, the type it on as clearly as possible. So in this case, I'm trying to get all of the occlusal surfaces and all the teeth as well as the pink gingiva uh, of the typodont, all the way to its ends. You start by mixing slowly with your um, spatula, and you're just trying to get the powder wet. You're not trying to be very forceful. As you finally feel that the powder is wet and it gets to a sort of doughy consistency, uh, you can go ahead now and press it against the walls of the bowl and this will eliminate any bubbles from showing up in your impression. Uh, having done this sufficiently, I will now take a good amount of my impression material and load it onto the maxillary tray. So you load it from the posterior and flatten it towards the anterior. I didn't get all as much as I wanted, so I'm going for a second swipe. In any case, the important thing here is that the you just wanna load the tray. You don't need to have it be pretty grab some impression material amongst your fingers and rub it as hard and as forcefully as you can on the occlusal surfaces and through the embrasures. I'm quite literally taking uh, fingers full of alginate and pressing it on. I also take a little bit of alginate to cover the palatal area because that can be somewhat difficult to capture on a typodont. At this point, you place the tray. You always place the posterior first and then you flatten it towards the anterior. Since this is a typodont that I'm trying to take the impression of, I'm and I don't have a lip that I could press down to roll, I'm simply going to take the excess alginate that I mixed and use it to ensure that I coat all the pink gingiva uh, of the typodont. 